hello everyone. Habari sasa hizi kila mtu. That's all. This is another day, another motivation. Hii ni siku nyingine wakati wa kutia na moyo. And we are so glad to see you. Tunafuraha sana kuona. And today is going to be a little bit different because I'll be speaking. Na leo itakuwa ni tofauti kidogo sababu Mika atakuwa anaongea. And Mr. Josh will be translating. Na mimi pia nitakuwa na translate. So what are we going to talk about today? Tutakacho kwa nizungumzia leo. We're going to talk about the power of confession. Tunazungumzia nguvu ya kukiri. What is confession? Nini maana ya kukiri? You know, I know so many people don't want to fail. Nafahamu watu wengi hawataki kushindwa. But let me tell you what what exactly the meaning of failure. Ngoja nikwambie nini maana ya kufeli. Failure is to give up. Kushindwa ni kukata tamaa. Failure is to quit on something that you find difficult to accomplish. It. Kushindwa ni kuacha kitu pale ambacho unafikiria kama ni kigumu kukamilisha. You know, so many people do believe that failure is just the end result of something. Watu wengi wanafikiria kwamba kushindwa ni kama matokeo ya kitu fulani. But that's not true. Yes, sir. In reality, katika ukweli, failure is just the beginning of something. Kushindwa ni mwanzo wa kitu fulani. It does not ha- it does not need to be the end result of something. Haitakiwi kuwa ni kitu cha kitu fulani. At the very first beginning, at the very beginning time pale mwanzoni wakati unapoanza when you decide to give up on something unapokuwa unaamua kwamba kuacha kitu fulani when you decide to quit on something that is difficult to be accomplished unapoamua kukata tamaa katika kitu pana ambacho unataka ukamilishe that is failure hiyo ndiyo the end result is just the end result of failure mwisho wake ni mwisho wa kushindwa but at the very beginning when you de- decide to give up that is failure pale mwanzoni ambapo unaamua kuacha ndiyo mwanzo wa kushindwa See, I want to tell you something my friend. If you really want to move on in this life. Come on, talk to endelea katika maisha. If you really want to be successful. Come on, talk to kufanikiwa. If you really want to get what you deserve and not on what you desire. Kama unataka kupata kile ambacho unastahili na kile ambacho una nia nacho. There's only one principle in life. Kuna kitu sheria moja katika maisha. And that is confession. Hiyo ni kukiri. Confession does not depend on the situation. Kili ya kutegemeana na na hali that you are in. Ambayo unayo. A confession does not depend on the environment. Kukili ya kutegemeana na mazingira. Does not depend on the circumstances that surround you. Kukili ya kutegemeana na matukio ambayo yanakuzunguka. Confession does not depend on the people whether they like you or not. Kukili ya kutegemeana na watu ambao wana kama wanakupenda au hawakupenda. Does not depend on the people whether they agree with you or not. Ha kutegemeana na watu ambao either kama wanakukubali au hawakukubali. Whether they are in your side or they're in another side. Au kama wako katika upande wako au upande mwingine. Does not depend on other people. Ha kutegemeana katika watu wengine. Confession is an independent thing. Kukili ni kitu ambacho kinajitegemea. It always stands alone. In a small peak yake. Confession does not depend on the feeling. Kukili ya kutegemeana na hali yako unayohisi. Confession does not depend on the expectation and predictions. Kukili ya kutegemeana na matarajio yako au mategemeo yako. Confession does not depend on the past, present or future. Kukili ya kutegemeana na mambo ya zamani au ya baadaye au ya sasa au ya sasa. But confession it always stands alone. Kukili ni kunajitegemea. It always works independently. Kukili kunajitegemea. That is confession. Up, you know, you know, okay. So last week we were talking about how to get how how to become a greater version of yourself. Oh, wakati ambao umepita tulikuwa tunazungumzia namna kuwa zaidi ya kile ambacho wewe unatarajia kuwepo. And one of the secret was to believe in yourself. Na asili moja ilikuwa ni kwamba kujiamini mwenyewe. But let me go a little bit deeper about that. Ngoja niende zaidi nikuelezee kuhusu. You know, it's not only about believing in yourself. Ni sio tu kwamba kuamini na kujiamini mwenyewe. But also confession is needed. Ni kwamba kukili kunahitajika. You have to confess what you believe. Unatakiwa ukili kile ambacho unaamini. Always when you confess what you believe, failure will defer disappear. Wakati wote ukikili kile ambacho unaamini, kushindwa kutondoka kwa. Yes, the truth. Na huo ndio kweli. If you believe with your heart, ukiamini na moyo wako, and you confess with your mouth, ukikili na kinywa chako, you never gonna be the same again. Hautaenda kuwa vile vile kama mwanzo. Your life is going to be totally changed. Maisha yako yataenda kubadilika kabisa. Your life is going to be new. Maisha yako yatakuja kuwa mapya. So you have to believe first that the first principle. Kitu cha kwanza ni kuwa on top of that. Hapo hapo you going to get what you deserve and not only what you desire. Utapata kile ambacho unastahili sio kile ambacho una nia nacho. Because we always deserve many but we desire few. Wakati wote tunastahili vitu vingi lakini tunataka vichache. So you just need to confess. Unataka utakiwa unatakiwa ukili au utamke just be positive 
kuwa chanya and always confused by your own mouth na wakati wote kili kwa kinyacha that i can do it kwamba unaweza kufanya i'm going to make it happen unaweza kufanya kitokea i will definitely succeed kwamba nitafanikiwa i'm not a failure kwamba mimi sio kushindwa i'm not a weaker mimi sio dhaifu it doesn't matter what his soul tells me haijalishi historia atakwambia nini but i believe i'm going to be successful even na mimi na so don't focus on what your eyes see because your eyes always see things as they are but vision or confession see things as they could be they should be so you got to confess things are yet to come in other way you have to confess not depend on what on the situation you see but you have to confess depend on how things should be and could be wakati mwingine hautakiwi ukili kutokana na mambo ambayo unayaona katika hali halisi lakini unatakiwa ukili kulingana na vitu ambavyo vitakuwa vipi just confess that i'm going to change the history kili kwamba tamka kwamba unaenda kubadilisha history and i'm going to turn the history upside down tamka kwamba unakwenda kubadilisha and I'm going to open new page of success Una in my life. Kurasa mpyo it's the previous page. Kwamba ilikuwa ni wakati ni ukurasa uliopita. It was failure. Ni kwamba ilifeli ilishindwa. Just yesterday. Jana imeshindwa. But the next page in your La, life. Lakini katika uh, ukurasa mwingine wa maisha yako. It's going to be success. Ni mafanikio. It's going to be new life. Ya kuja kuwa ni maisha mapya. So you don't you don't just have to believe in your heart but confess that I'm going to be a success. Usi kwamba usemeni tu peke yako lakini unatakiwa ukili utamke kwa kinyesha. And all my generation. Katika vizazi vyako vyote. All my nation. Taifa, all my friends oh, society and wherever jamii, they, na vyote. they actually going to be benefit from me just because i have turned the history upside down kwa and i started a new page in there and everything is going to be told totally different you. as you confess so you have turned down failure to success Ume, umebadilisha historia kushindwa you have turned the history from zero to hero from nothing to something from failure to success and from weak to strong you have changed everything just by your confession you know you you, you got to believe me that you can create your own character depends on your confession the words of your mouth you got to be very careful lazima uwe mwangalifu for your confession you confess you going to fail exam then you going to fail come on tamko na kushindwa mtihani of course una kwenda kushindwa mtihani you going to feel like oh man i feel like i'm going to die you're going to die soon come on some old man is going to kufa but proclaim, confess, confess success in your tamka sema mafanikio katika maisha yako and good things in your life na vitu vingine vizuri tamka katika maisha yako one of our motivation speaker said kuna mtu mmoja ambaye anazungumza mambo motivation it's not over until i win uh ni haijaisha mpaka nimefanikiwa and he, his name is Les Brown and it's Les Brown so it's not over until i win ni sio mwisho mpaka nimeshinda it means that every single day i'll be fighting i'll be fighting until i get what i want inamaanisha kwamba kila siku nenda kupigana 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 mpaka umepata it doesn't matter like what, what your situation you have right now you are in right now haijaishi hali yako ambayo nao wakati you know it's not over until i win yani unasema kwamba haijaisha mpaka niweshinda i'm going somewhere unaenda kwa same plan and i'm going to get there unaenda ndakupata remember the power of decision is in man kumbuka kwamba nguvu ya maamuzi ipo katika binadamu and the power of confession is in you as well na nguvu ya kukili ipo katika kwa when things goes wrong you cannot blame anybody kama kitu kinaenda vibaya uweze kumlaumu mtu yeyote remember you cannot blame god uweze kumlaumu you cannot blame your parents uweze kumlaumu your friends marafiki in my life oh what do i know in my life oh maisha yangu sio yanaendaje but you just need to blame yourself kitu ambacho yeye mtakao yelaumu mwenyewe cuz what happened in your life right now ambacho kinatokea katika maisha yako sasa is what you confessed yesterday ni kwamba kila ambacho umekili toka jana so you really have to be careful and you don't have to blame anybody unatakiwa uwe mwangalifu sana na usimlaumu mtu yeyote change the way you think badilisha mtazamo wako change the way you say things badilisha vitu ambavyo unasema change your heart badilisha moyo wako change the way you you you, you, you badilisha namna ambayo unakili vitu unatamka vitu change today badilika leo and start to, to confess life and answer kukili maisha other people out there they're sick 
kuna watu wengine wanaumwa but you, you and and you just proclaim and confess that man i think i'm gonna i'm gonna be sick in tired days of my life kwa unaona wafu bado unasema oh na mimi pia nenda kuwa naumwa katika maisha yangu you don't have to confess that hautaki utamke said i'm gonna stand up soon sema kwamba nitasimama and that is what is gonna happen na hicho ndicho mwana atakana kutokea the power of confession nguvu ya kukiri power of confession kukiri zini ipo kwa start confessing arms are low starting confession arms are low right away arms are low kabisa sasa hivi is going to be different kila kitu kinakuwa tofauti kabisa katika maisha yako i'm telling you things nakwambia leo vitu vinakuwa tofauti you yeah. will never going to be the same again au tena kuwa sawa sawa i remember if you believe in your heart come on amen katika moyo and you confess with your mouth na ukili kwa kinywa chako you are uh, uh, you're not going to be the same i was you call vile vile kama zamani you're not going to be the same how was you call vile vile kama zamani So thank you so much. Asante sana. Uh, for listening this message. Uh, kwa kusikiliza ujumbe leo. And hope you guys you're going to share with your friend. Na na mimi tutakwenda ku about the power uh, of confession. Kukana na uh, nguvu so that so many people they can hear this message. Na watu wengi wanaenda kusikiliza hii. And we're pretty ujumbe. sure that it's going to be life changing in your na life. Na tunaamini kwamba itakuwa ni uh, ujumbe wa kubadilisha maisha yako. No we're talking like this but also this is happening in our life as well. Tunaongea kama hivi lakini ndivyo vile ambavyo vinaongea katika maisha. It's life changing in life as well. Ni kwamba maisha na hicho ni kitu ambacho kinabadilika kinabadilisha maisha yetu. Before we speak We have to get rid of everything that we have. And we have to start confessing as mother kutamka kwamba ukili. So we are confessing life. Tuna tamka maisha. And we are confessing life changes through this video. Tuna tamka mabadiliko katika maisha kupitia na hizi video. So start confessing. Anza kuamini leo. Young motivator, speak out. Thank you. Asante. Failures to give. Fairly, ni kukata tamaa. Failures to quit. Ah, uh, fairly. kupiti kwa ndio gari la kupiti kufanyeje kuacha okay failure is to give up failure akushindwa mwanenu madogo sana na 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 na